Right then. So if you'd like to come seated, I'm going to sit on a block today. I will remove it though a little bit later, but we are going to work very much into our legs today. Okay. So working through our hamstrings, we're releasing. So just, ah, oh, nice and seated, nice and quiet. I'll just pop the other music on and just allow the mind to settle, the breath to settle, the eye gaze to settle. Just relax the face. Relax through the shoulders. You can even turn the palms up towards the sky. Lengthen through the spine. Lift through the chest as well, the shoulders back. And just connect with your breath. Be aware of your breath coming in and out. And just start to lengthen the breath, deepen the breath. And as you inhale, just taking it into the abdomen, up towards the middle of the chest, all the way to the very top. Keep shoulders nice and relaxed. And then exhale all the way down. Inhale. Exhale. And just follow that passage of breath into the abdomen, up towards the chest, all the way and up and through the collarbones, the shoulders. Exhale down. Just take three lovely long deep breaths in your own time, with your own breath. And just really feel that inflation. Each breath that you take, just you can feel that chest maybe expanding even more. The breath into the back. So as we inhale together for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for five, four, three, two and one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, and exhale for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one, exhale for six, five, Four, three, two, and one. 
Inhale for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Exhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale all the way up. Exhale. Maybe just narrowing the back of the throat, using that ujjayi breath. And again, inhale all the way up and through, right from your root, all the way up through your spine. As you exhale, drawing that belly, to, belly button to the spine, emptying the lungs, using your ujjayi breath. And again, one more lovely big deep breath, all the way in and up. Exhale. And then just start to roll to the shoulders. So inhale, reach the shoulders up towards the ears. Exhale them back. And again, inhale up. Exhale away. In the other direction, inhale. Exhale. And again, inhale up. Exhale them forward. Just take a half a head roll. So just taking your ear over to the right. Inhale, as you exhale, just draw the chin to the chest, reaching all the other side and breathing back up. And then the other way. So just taking the left ear to the left shoulder, exhaling, chin to the chest, stretching to the back of the neck. Take the right ear over to the right shoulder and then breathe yourself back up. And then inhale, stretch the arms up. As you exhale, bring the hands to the heart center. Inhale, gently fold forward, just touching the mat. Breathing all the way up. And then take the right arm down. Inhale, up through the left. Exhale over. Just gently bending into the elbow. Opening up the shoulder. And then inhale, back up to the center. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, gently brush the floor. Inhale up, exhale, left hand down, reaching up through that right arm, exhale over, opening up that top shoulder, lovely. And then just breathing that right arm down, just swap over the legs and keep the, the hips lifted, elevated. Totally different feeling on this side. So go for that nice arm sequence again. So inhale, reaching up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Gently taking it forward. Lovely, reaching up. This time, take the left arm down. Inhale up to the right. Exhale over. See if you can take it a little bit further, opening up through the top shoulder. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale. Exhale, right arm down, reaching up. Over. opening up just feeling maybe a little bit more movement in the shoulder inhale back up exhale away lovely remove the block you're sat on your block Ooh, so you definitely need two blocks today get you a couple of blocks everyone's got two blocks i got you strap you all got so stretching the legs out all the way down the mat in front of you. You may need to strap for this one for Dandasana. As I said before, we're going to start to really work into the legs today. So stretching the legs, you can keep a bend on the knee if that feels good. <laughs> I've got everybody a strap apart from me. <laughs> Let me go and grab it. Left it in my bag. So you can either take your strap around the soles of your feet, or you can take your peace fingers to the big toes. 
or a block around the sole of the feet. Quite handy with the strap this time in the morning because it's, it's a little bit, a bit gentler, I think. So inhale to lift, exhale, just taking that fold forward. It hasn't got to be deep. Again, inhale to lift, exhale, just to gently stretch, keeping as much of the bend as you need to on your knees. Sink your forehead towards the shins, relax through the shoulders. And then inhale, exhale, just release through that stretch. And then draw in your right leg. So just take care. You've got your niggles in the legs and the hips. <laughs> inhale, lift. And then exhale to fold forward. Again, you can take a bend on this knee. You can take the strap around the sole of your foot. You can take your peace finger towards your big toe or hold on to the sole of the foot. So take your Janu Sarsasana in a way that suits you this morning. Again, we're still warming up. So inhale, lift the chest again. Exhale to fold. Lovely. Wonderful. And inhale. As you exhale, release the toe. And then I want you to bring yourself over towards the right-hand side of your mat slightly. Press, you're going to press and take it up into a side plank. So take your right hand behind you, press into the mat, bring your knee underneath your hip, and then reach up through your left arm to your side plank. Lovely. With that lower toe, make sure it's pointing towards the long edge of the mat. Inhale, lift through the hip. As you exhale, you can even take the arm over the head. You're reaching it behind you, looking up towards the elbow, opening the chest. Inhale. As you exhale, bring yourself back down. Release yourself back onto your hip and turn yourself back round. We'll take a nice navasana, but just a nice gentle one. So just pulling up here, just tickling the mat. Reaching the chest forward, just taking the chest towards the thighs, reach through. That might be enough for you right now. If you want to release the hands, we'll just take our half boat for now. Inhale, reach forward. So you know it's coming up again later in full expression. Inhale. As you exhale, release. And then just taking the other leg in towards you. In fact, move over towards the right-hand side of your mat for this one. Inhale to lift, squeeze that lower toe back. Exhale to fold. And again, take your stretch with your strap, with a block, hands, or your peace fingers. Inhale, lift. Exhale, draw forward and fold. Inhale. As you exhale, breathe yourself back up. And then go take it round your side plank. So use your left hand, place it just behind you, press into your hand, bring your knee under the hip, stretch the toe, the lower toe towards that long edge of the mat, reaching up through the right hand side, pushing and lifting through the hip. Inhale. Keep the arm here or reach the arm overhead for a nice side stretch as well. Take the hands over, take the gaze towards the elbow. That feels good for your neck. Inhale. As you exhale, breathe yourself back down. Lovely. And then we're going to take a nice little flow here. So cross the legs again. Reaching the knees out. Inhale and lift. As you exhale, just taking the opposite hand to opposite knee. Take a nice twist. So pre pressing your right arm behind you. Inhale to lift. Exhale to twist. And keeping this left hand onto your right knee. Breathe up the right hand. Inhale. And take a nice lean over. We did do this one last week. You can see if anyone remembers. So take it. That's the one. Your back hand over. Opening up the shoulder. Inhale. Now place the left hand onto the right knee so you're bringing both hands in front and crossing. Lower through the neck. 
You might even feel that you can take a little bit more of a deeper fold here. Now really, really cross the arms. So bringing those elbows one on top of the other. Inhale and lift your Garandasana arms. You can either bring the backs of the hands or continue to wrap. Inhale to lift. Lengthening, stretching across the upper back. Inhale. As you exhale, draw that belly button to your spine. So giving that core a bit of a workout as well. Inhale. Exhale. Taking the elbows, the hands to the elbows, reaching up above the head. Inhale. As you exhale, reach the hands behind you, turn the fingers point away, lift and open the chest. Squeeze the knees down, but really squeezing the knees away. Inhale. As you exhale, sit yourself up and then just cross your legs in the other way. You might want to give a bit of a, a rock here. Work through the other side, but inhale. As you exhale, just taking the right hand over, press the left hand, inhale to lift, exhale to twist. Inhale, breathe the left arm up and over. Reaching over, opening up the shoulder. Inhale. As you exhale, place the hand onto the opposite knee. And this time we should have the other arm on top. And just take that fold again. Inhale. As you exhale, making sure both elbows are on top of each other, come up to your Garandasana arm the other way. Ooh. Feels very different. Inhale to lift. Just notice, just check in. Anything feel different on this side of the body? Inhale, exhale, keep lifting to the elbows. Wonderful. Inhale. And then exhale, hands onto the elbows again. Reaching. You can take it back a little bit further. Keep the chin lifted. Inhale. Lovely. And then taking the hands forward, walk yourself forward and take it into a nice fold. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale. And breathe yourself back up. Breathe your knees in. And then reaching forward for our Dandasana again, just stretching through these legs one more time. Inhale to lift. Exhale to fold. So again, you can take like a block round, ooh, around the soles of the feet. You could take your peace fingers, bend onto the knees, sink your chest down towards the thighs, release the shoulders from the ears. Inhale, lift and open the chest. Exhale to draw down. And then inhale. As you exhale, drawing that right leg in. You're taking your Janus Asana and coming over to the left-hand side of the mat. Inhale to lift. Exhale, see that fold can go a little bit deeper. And again, taking hands or a strap, block, peace fingers. So using anything around your prop just to ease yourself into this stretch. Inhale. Exhale away. And then inhale and exhale to lift, taking your right hand, placing behind you, flipping on the inside of that bottom foot, reaching up and having, making sure your wrist is underneath your shoulder, your knee underneath your hip. You can either stay here, you wish to take it a little bit higher, you can join your bottom foot with your top foot, so they take feet spread out one in front of the other or you can layer it up one foot on top of the other pushing into your hand reaching with your hips inhale if anybody wants to lift the top leg as well you can always take that option <laughs> you're going for it that's the main thing yes lovely inhale exhale bringing it down breathing the knee back down lowering yourself back down let's take on a vasana so inhale, lift and taking it through. Inhale, 
Exhale to release the arms. You can stay here or inhale. Exhale to take the full expression. You can always use a strap if you wish to. Inhale. Exhale. Lovely. Inhale. And exhale away. Ooh. <laughs> Wonderful. And then moving to the other side of your mat. Breathing in the other leg. Squeezing and lifting. Exhale to fold. Lovely. So really working into the back of the thigh, all the hamstring muscles reaching down, but also working into the groin and the adductors as you just loosen and stretch through that hip as well. Inhale and exhale one more time. And then inhale, exhale, breathe yourself back up. Taking your left hand behind you, pressing, reaching up, and just adjusting your knee. So you've got that knee coming underneath the hip, wrist under your shoulder, reaching up. Staying here or releasing that bottom foot, one foot in front of the other, or you can level and layer the feet. Inhale to lift. Exhale, you can release that top leg. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And releasing back down. Breathe yourself in. <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? How just we haven't even got the mat yet. <laughs> so let's take on a vasana one more time. Inhale to breathe through. Keep lifting through the chest. And then exhale, hands away. If you do want to use your strap, can always use that strap by taking the strap around the soles of the feet, pulling on the strap to help to lengthen the spine. Exhale away into full expression. As you're breathing in, inflate the core. As you exhale, pull that belly button towards the spine. Shoulders back, chest through. <laughs> and just oh, support your lower back with that core. So pull that belly button in. Inhale. As you exhale, breathe yourself down. Woo, lovely. Let's breathe ourselves either over into tabletop or you can take it round. So making sure you have your knees under the hips, your wrists under your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, have a little move around the hips. As you inhale, let's take our cat cows. So reaching up, lifting the hips, pressing. Exhale, drawing the lower back down, tucking the chin, pushing into the shoulders. And again, inhale, lift that lower back, open up the heart space. Exhale away, lovely. Use that ujjayi breath. Take it one more time. Inhale and lift. And exhale, drawing it in, pulling the belly button to the spine, tucking the chin, taking it into a nice neutral spine, reaching back through the right leg, and then lift the right leg and lift the left arm to take into your balancing cat. Inhale. As you exhale, drawing the nose and the knee and the elbow together, crunching in. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, curling. Inhale, lift and lengthen. And as you exhale, take it diagonal. So you're reaching out with the foot and out with the arm. Lovely. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, drawing in one more time. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale to place that foot down. Lovely. Take a nice little rock side to side. Then reach through the other leg. So reaching that left leg back. Inhale, draw the left leg up. Reach the right arm ahead of you. Exhale, drawing it in. Everything curling in. Inhale to lift and lengthen. Exhale, curl. Inhale to lengthen. And then take your diagonal as you exhale. 
Inhale, back to center. Exhale, to curl it all back in. Inhale, lift and lengthen one more time. And exhale back. Take a nice little rock. Sit yourself back into Balasana, nice wide Balasana. So settle with the knees out. Reach the hips back towards your seat. Lifting and reaching through with the arms. Inhale. Exhale. Lovely. And then inhale. As you exhale, breathe yourself up onto your tabletop. Tuck your toes. Inhale and exhale. Hips away and come into a downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. So really reaching through the heels. Lovely. Stretching the chest through. So as you maybe rock forwards onto your toes, and then as you rock back, exhale, press the heels down, reach the chest through towards the thighs, look towards the knees. Lovely. You might take a few rocks like that. It's quite nice. Just rocking forwards and back. And just as you, as you rock back, press the chest through, getting that lovely stretch of the spine. Inhale and exhale. And then inhale, look towards the hands. And then take your tiptoe in. So lengthen through the calf muscles. Tiptoe in. Bringing the heels down. <laughs> Inhale, exhale into your forward fold. Open up the arms. Inhale. All the way up to Urdhvahasana. Exhale away. Roll the shoulders back and down. Take a nice rock forward and back. And just have another nice slow down again. So inhale. Exhale, floating all the way down. Inhale, half forward fold by the hands to the shin, lifting to the back or fingertips to the mat. Exhale, forward fold. Step back into your plank. Lowering to your chaturanga or dropping the knees, chin and chest, hugging the elbows in. Inhale through to up dog or you can take it into your cobra. So taking a choice there. Inhale. Exhale back onto the knees or over the toes and then reaching up into your downward facing dog. I'm gonna bring myself back around. Make sure you have your blocks handy. Inhale and lift your right leg into three-legged dog. Squeezing up the heel. Inhale. As you exhale, float yourself down to bring your shoulders over your knees, over your knees, over your wrists, and then bring your foot through and drop the back knee. You're coming into your low lunge. Lovely. Take hold of your block. I'll go from the side for this one. So just making sure that your ankle is underneath your knee. The other knee at the back can be stretched quite far back. Inhale to lift. You're going to reach up first of all. Inhale. If it feels good, take a little bit of a back bend here as you exhale. Inhale back down. As you exhale, you're going to keep the feet where they are and just maneuver the hips back. So reaching back, you can use your blocks, pushing up here, squeezing that toe back towards the shin of that right leg. You can even take your blocks a bit higher if that feels more comfortable. Inhale, take a little bit of a fold if you wish to. Really working into stretching that back, leg, uh, that back of the leg. Inhale. As you exhale, roll forwards onto that front foot. Breathe back up into your lunge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, take a back bend. Inhale. Exhale, back down, pushing yourself back again. Use the blocks. Just make sure that your knee is underneath that hip, pressing the chest down. So just ooh, feeling that stretch, yeah. Get right in there. Inhale. Now this time, you can either take it back forward into a low lunge again here, or tuck the back toe, release the back, knee 
take it up into high lunge. Inhale to lift. Exhale, take a bit of a back bend. If that feels good, keep reaching through that back leg. Inhale. Exhale, back down. Drop the back knee and just take one more. There's your Hanumanasana, your monkey splits, your half monkey splits. So again, lift the chest, but just take yourself down a little bit. Wonderful. Inhale. Keep squeezing the lower toes back. As you exhale, roll forward. Bring that knee in slightly. And then let's take it back into our plank. So pushing back into plank. Inhale to lift. Exhale, you can drop the knees or you can take it through your chaturanga. Dropping yourself down. Roll the shoulders, press up into your cobra or your up dog. With your up dog, you can just move the hands back slightly. You can lift a little bit higher then or keep yourself down for your cobra. Inhale, exhale over the knees or over the toes, back onto the knees, lift yourself into a downward facing dog. Take a walk of the dog if you wish to. Quite nice, reaching through. Inhale, exhale, reach the chest through towards the sides. Reach the heels back, lift through the hips. Excellent. And then as you inhale, reach the left leg up this time. So reaching up through that left leg, reaching with the heel, your three-legged dog, inhale. As you exhale, float the knee down and then bring that foot in between the hands and drop the back leg and we'll work through the other side. So you've got your ankle underneath your knee, that back knee's quite far back. And then working up to your low lunge, our Angianasana. So inhale, exhale, take a lean back. Inhale, exhale, bring the hands down and then start to lean back. So you're just rolling back onto the heel. Again, just make sure that you have that knee underneath the hip on the lower back, on the lower leg. Squeeze that toe back towards the chin. Wonderful. Take your blocks to a level that feels supported for you. Inhale to lift. Exhale, you can take a bit more of a fold. <sighs> Wonderful. Inhale. Exhale, roll forward, pressing into that foot. Release the hands, reaching up. Exhale back. Inhale. And then flow between your lunge back into your half. Hanumanasana, your Ardha Hanumanasana, monkey split. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold, but keep the chest uplifted. Lovely. Take it one more as a low lunge. So inhale, reaching forward, raising up the arms. Exhale back. You're really seeing that stretch on the back hip flexor this time as you press forward. Inhale, exhale back. Take it back one more time. Reaching back. Ooh, lovely. Inhale forward. And then either staying here or pressing into that back toe, lifting to the back leg. And then taking yourself up to a higher lunge. Excellent. Wonderful. Brilliant. Inhale to lift. Taking that back bend, if that feels good. Inhale, exhale, back down. Release that lower knee. And just taking it back one more time into a lovely hamstring stretch. Inhale. As you exhale, rolling forward. And just bringing that foot in. You can bring it onto the knees. We'll take a nice stretch here. A nice narrow balasana. So just reaching the forehead down, reaching the hands back, having the palms up. Inhale and exhale. Lovely. And then inhale, press into your hands, roll onto the toes. Pressing in and coming into your uttanasana. Let's take a ragdoll. Hands to your elbows. 
just created that space and then take your head through that space. Take a nice rock side to side. Inhale and exhale, chest towards the thighs. And then inhale, exhale, release the hands, reaching all the way up to Urdhva Hasana. Exhale away. Oh, lovely. And then just coming to the top of your mat, we're going to take a chair pose, like Utkatasana. So inhale, lifting up, sinking through the hip, tucking the tailbone ever so slightly. Just checking you can see your toenails peeking out from your knees. Just taking it down. Inhale to lift. Relax through the shoulders. As you inhale, press the hands together. Exhale, palms to heart center. Inhale. And then taking your opposite elbow. So take our left elbow over towards the right knee, pressing into palms. Take a twist. And then inhale. Inflate the abdomen as you exhale, draw that shoulder back a little bit and pull the belly button in. Stay here or open the arms. So taking the one hand down towards the toes, the one hand up. Just check that the knees are still aligned. Inhale. Exhale, hands back into the center and then taking the hands back in. Lovely, reaching back up. And then stepping back, so taking your hands onto your hips, reach back through your right leg. Lovely. Inhale to lift. Excellent. And then turning and taking it into your warrior two. So just pressing into that front knee. Just checking the front heels in line with the back arch. Open up the chest towards the long edge of your mat. And then just placing your head and just looking down your front fingernails. Inhale, lift. Exhale, sinking down. Lovely. Inhale. And this time, stretch the front leg straight, reach forward like someone's pulling you forward and drop yourself into your trikonasana. So here, you can use that block inside of your front foot if you wish. So you can press into that block or you can take your hand free. Lovely. So opening up that top shoulder, opening up the chest. Inhale. Let's try the block. Press there. No, that's fine. <laughs> Pull me over, hold me over. Lovely. Take a few breaths here. This is a great pose. Lovely. Inhale. Inhale, exhale. That is straight, the front leg is straight, yes. That's it. Lovely. Inhale. As you exhale, breathe yourself back up, but keep that front leg straight. Take the hands behind you, and then just turn that back toe round, coming round just a little bit, reach up the corner of the mat, inhale. As you exhale, just take it forward to your pyramid pose. So taking your forehead down. You can take your gaze towards your toes or you can tuck your chin. So just check your balance. And then lift the arms up and away from your spine. Inhale. You can just put the heat. <laughs> you don't need them now. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale. Wonderful. And then inhale. As you exhale, release. Bring it back up into your lunge. So reaching forward. Inhale to lift. Exhale, aeroplane arms, reaching forward. Inhale. Exhale, bending over that thigh. Lovely. Inhale one more time. And we're going to take it into warrior three. So as we Push forward, just lift the back leg, press the weight into the front leg. Hasn't got to be high. We can take it to a level and just bringing that chest forward. If you do wish to bring that back leg up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. You can feel it on the glute. Lovely. You want to hold on to anything, hold a wall. Do so. You can always hold, if you have a chair, hold something by you. You can reach up. You can keep the hands on the hips. 
We'll reach the hands back, or you can take the arms forward. It's a bit more of a challenge taking them forward and just making sure the hips stay level because it is quite tempting to lift through that back leg. <laughs> really don't need the heaters on there. Inhale. And then when you feel ready, bring that leg back down. Bring yourself back into your Uttanasana. Oh, concentration. Bend through the knees as much as possible. Inhale, open up the arms, lifting up to Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, all the way down. Roll the shoulders, take a nice rock forwards and back. Yeah, you can feel it, can't you? It's when you're oh, lifting. <laughs> and then inhale, let's take our Utkatasana, so our chair pose, stroking the floor. Inhale to lift, exhale. Drawing that belly button in, tucking the tailbone, reaching up, checking the toenails, lifting, inhale. As you exhale, breathing the hands to your heart center and then tucking the other way this time. So your right elbow over towards that left knee, pressing into the palms, inhale, lift. Exhale, drawing that arm back, shoulder back, aiming to get nice alignment through the shoulders, lovely. Inhale, keeping here or opening up the arms. So reaching up and reaching down, opening, inhale. As you exhale, breathing the arms back into heart center and sweeping back up into your Utkatasana and then reaching up, lovely. Taking the hands to heart center or the hips, stepping the other leg back this time. The pressing down, reaching up through the chest, really reaching for that back heel, taking your high lunge, inhale. As you exhale, flipping the back foot, reaching down, pressing that front knee out towards your little toe, pressing down, checking your alignment with the heel and the back arch, reaching up and just having your arms parallel the front of your mat keep reaching that knee out your little toe on the front knee inhale lift exhale bend a little bit further forward looking down your front fingernail wonderful inhale and then exhale straighten the front leg reaching forward and then dropping into your triangle your trikonasana can you use that block if you wish any level inhale with this try and bring the hips into lines. It's quite tempting to have the hips back a little bit. So just tucking the tailbone, bringing the hips in line. Lovely. Reaching up. Looking up towards that top shoulder, towards the top arm. Inhale and exhale. Take two more lovely long deep breaths here. The wonderful chest opener, hip opener. And you're balancing as well. Inhale. Exhale. And then as you inhale and exhale, breathe yourself back up. Keep the front leg nice and straight. Reach the arms behind you. Inhale to lift and then bring that back toe round. You're bringing the hips towards the front of the mat. Inhale to lift. Exhale to take your fold forward. Again, you can keep your gaze towards your toes or you can tuck your chin. Depends how you feel balanced this morning. And then reach that, those arms away from you. Inhale, exhale the arms up and away. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and release the hands. Lovely, breathe yourself back up. Ooh. Take yourself back into your nice high lunge. So pressing, lifting that back heel. And then bring yourself to the front of the mat. Lovely. <laughs> a bit more stretch now this morning. Let's take a nice wide forward fold. So taking our hips away from this position and then you're taking them completely the opposite way. So you're pointing the toes forward, lifting through the heart space, inhale. As you exhale, just start to fold forward, 
release the hands when you feel ready. You might want to release them onto a block. Pressing into the block. And you can come into a nice flat back. And just feel the weight nice and equal through the soles of the feet. You might want to heel toe the feet a little bit wider apart. Inhale. As you exhale, maybe even remove that block and breathe yourself a little bit deeper into this stretch. But listen to your body. Take it as far as you want to, as far as you need to. Lovely stretch for the backs of the legs. Reaching out towards the little toes, pressing the feet for the little toes and have that stretch going up the side of the legs as well. Inhale. Exhale. And then inhale, breathe yourself up. Bend into the knees, take the hands to the hips and start to heel toe the feet in. Come all the way to the top of your mat. We'll take a nice slow down, lovely. So inhale, exhale, floating all the way down. Inhale, half forward fold, so hands to the shins or fingertips to the mat. Exhale, forward fold, tuck the chin. Step back into your plank. Inhale, spread the fingers, lift. Okay, exhale, floating down or drop the knees. Pushing through, can we drop your knees all the way down? Oh. <laughs> Let's come into a nice locust pose. So strengthening to the back. So reaching back as we lift, as we inhale, lift everything off the floor. So try and squeeze the knees up. Lift, 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 inhale. Exhale, back down. Whew. We'll take that one more time. Maybe just take a wiggle through the hips here. Just loosen up and then inhale and lift, lift, lift. One more time. Squeeze the shoulders back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And exhale away, lovely. Press the hands into the mat. Just have the hands underneath your shoulders, spread the fingers, dig the elbows in, inhale, just lift ever so slightly. If you're doing it, oh, you can actually take your hands away for your cobra, that's how much the back needs to come into play. Inhale, exhale, back onto the knees. Spread the knees, reach forward for your child's face. Take two lovely long deep breaths here. Inhale, exhale. Wonderful. And then breathing the knees back in, breathing yourself up. Take yourself onto one hip, bring the legs round. We'll have another, another Navasana here. So again, you can take your strap or you can do without the strap. So just inhale, lifting forward. Hold onto the back of the legs or taking your strap around the soles of the feet. Wrapping round. We'll do a couple of times. You can try, you can do with and without the strap. Inhale, lift, reaching the chest forward, pulling in the core. So you can feel strong in that core. Elbows in, inhale, lift. Think about the heart lifting. Exhale, take the feet away. If you wish to take them straight, you can always leave the feet, the knees bent. Inhale. Exhale, drawing that belly button in. Inhale, and release. Either use the strap again or take the strap away. Just tickle the mat. Inhale, reaching forward. Exhale, the hands away. Inhale, reach through. Exhale, the full expression. You can reach the arms up. Lovely. Exhale, bending the knees. Inhale, reach. Exhale. Inhale. Take two more. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Oh, lovely. Excellent. Just hugging onto the knees. Roll yourself down. So tuck the chin. Really curve through that upper back. And take it down. 
we'll just take a round of yogi cycles as well so really bend into the back today we've worked through that lower back so let's work on that core as well so bringing the knees above the hips releasing the fit the feet from the mat taking the hands towards the temple so not holding the head just taking the fingertips to the temple inhale as you exhale just stretching out the right leg but taking that right shoulder to the left knee inhale exhale bringing it in and changing it over inhale to center exhale over inhale exhale inhale exhale lovely and just keeping this going you're reaching the shoulder over to the knee inhale back exhale lengthen through the leg and twist inhale exhale eight inhale seven inhale six inhale exhale over for five four three try to twist taking that shoulder over reaching for two and one and then bring the knees in Ooh. reaching up there Just hugging onto those knees We'll take a bridge pose as well now. Again, nice for legs, but also we can lengthen through our abdomen. So just having the feet flat on the mat, tickling the heels. And then as you inhale, reaching up through the hips. Rolling the shoulders underneath you, lifting, lifting, lifting through the hips. Inhale, clasp the hands underneath the spine, reaching down. Inhale and lift. Keep rolling the shoulders underneath, reaching down, lifting, lifting. Inhale one more time as you exhale, release the hands and roll yourself back down. Give those knees a nice big hug. Do you know, I've just realised. We didn't do aeroplane arms and warrior three on the other side. <laughs> no one said anything. <laughs> okay, I'm sure I didn't do it on the other side. Right, there we're gonna have to. We can't work one side, not the other. So roll over to the side, press your hand in, and I'll call you back down again. <laughs> You've certainly worn the leg up like that, seriously. <laughs> I just lie there thinking we didn't go, I didn't do it. <laughs> Press the hands into the mat, reach yourself back up. You're like, no, we're so close to Shavasana. So close. Breathe yourself up. <laughs> Step forward to the right leg and just taking that left leg back. <sighs> Have to work through both sides, reaching up. Inhale. Exhale, lean forward. Lovely. Inhale, reach. Exhale, last one, inhale up. As you exhale, just coming forward, releasing that back leg. Lovely, and just taking it to a point that you feel confident. You can reach, reach, reach forward. Excellent. You can reach the arms forward. Lift, lift, lift through the back leg. Inhale, exhale, and then when you feel ready, breathe yourself back down. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Realize I didn't do both sides of the body. Reaching up, floating down. Just lengthen to the backs of those legs. Tucking the chin. You'll have a core of steel as well now. Just work through that. And buns of steel. So, reaching down. And then, oh, I tell what we'll do, we'll reach back up, hands to heart center, taking it down to your malasana. See if you can keep the hands in your prayer position. So inhale, exhale, breathing down. You can take a nice malasana here. 
and then we'll take it back into seated position. If you have to use your hands, place your hands down, or you can just whew, bring it down. <laughs> Wonderful. I've got a nice one actually for another week where we roll from our back all the way up to standing without touching. Oh, that's another one. We'll give that a go. <laughs> like that. Really? <laughs> Building up to that another week. So lie yourself down. Hug yourself in. Give a nice hug. Inhale. As you exhale, curve through your spine, rolling all the way down. Let's take a twist here. So reaching out to the side, lifting the knees above you. Inhale, exhale the knees over to one side and just take back the head the opposite way. Open the arms and really feel the shoulders reaching back into the mat. Inhale and exhale. And then you can release that top leg if you wish to have a deeper stretch through the outer thigh. You can even hold on to the toes with the teeth fingers. Ooh, feel that stretch, but just encourage that shoulder flat into the mat. Inhale. As you exhale, release that knee. Breathe your knees back up and over. And take your gaze over the other shoulder. Just press both shoulder blades into your mat. Inhale, exhale, reach that top knee away. Hold on to a few fingers around the toe if you wish. Really stretching into that outer thigh, pressing the other shoulder into the mat. Ooh, reaching away. Let's enjoy this twist as well. The breathing into the core, inflating, and then exhale, drawing the belly button in. Inhale. Release the toe, release the leg, lift the knees up and over. And just give the knees one more hug. Relax through the shoulders. And then just bend your knees away, either reaching the legs down the mat or having the feet as wide as the mat and knocking the knees in. A little bit kinder on the back. If that's, you find it difficult to lie straight and flat a bit more comfortable with the knees bent bring in towards each other turn the palms to face the sky So just allow the breath to settle. Just feel every point of contact with the mat. Maybe even lift the shoulder blades slightly, place them back down, spread the shoulder blades. Take your attention to your heels. Feel your heels just gently settling into the mat. The backs of the calves, the thighs and the hips. Just sinking and melting. Feel the upper back pressing into your mat. Back to the arms and the elbows, forearms, and the backs of the hands melting away. Just feel the gentle rise and fall of the abdomen and the chest. And just spread that feeling of relaxation all the way from the chest up to the neck, across the jaw. 
relax the teeth and the tongue. And spread that feeling up through the cheekbone, the ears, the eye socket, the eyes. Soften across the forehead and that space in between the eyebrows. And relax all the way through to the crown of the head. And feel the back of the head nice and heavy and soft into your mat. And just enjoy this feeling of freedom and relaxation for a moment. Now start to make the movement back into your fingers and your toes. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, bring the feet together. Take the hands up and above the head. Take a nice big full body stretch. Point with the toes. Nice big deep breath in and as you exhale, just bring your knees towards the chest. Take a nice rock side to side. Relax through the shoulders. Keep the face nice and soft. When you feel ready, just taking it over to one side. Just take a moment here. Breathe in and out. Press the top hand into your mat. And when you feel ready, move yourself up to a seated position. Try to keep the eye gaze nice and soft or closed. Relax the shoulders. Inhale fully all the way to the top. Exhale completely, drawing in the navel to the spine. And again, inhale fully. Exhale completely. Take the hands to the heart centre. And just thank your body for being able to do what it can do today, moving around your mat, giving up freedom of your movement. Blink your eyes open. Namaste. Oh, <laughs> thank you for bearing with me there. <laughs> can you all back up again into Warrior Three? <laughs> Shock to the system. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're welcome. There we go. Oh. Oh, yeah, on Saturday, I know some of you are away, aren't you, Saturday? Saturday is um, down at the um, the Croft, yeah, at the back of the church. It's from 10. Um, I will be sending an email out to everyone, so do check your junk, and I'll, I might try and do it through messages as well. It's, it's so, you know, you can do it through emails. It's, um, it's not on the website, but I'll send it off um, in an email. I wonder if I can put it on the website. 10 till 5, I believe. I'm, it's a big yoga festival. Oh, is it? I thought it was 10 till 5. Yeah, I can tell you. I can tell you exactly what's on the timetable. It's a big, it's a yoga festival. Loads of stuff for the kids as well. Um, Lisa's running it. Uh, I'm going to take, I'm going to take the kids down. 